head into the theaters this week and you want something that's a little bit different than everything else coming out, make sure to run over to Profile because this is one hell of a thriller that honestly kept me on edge the entire way through. What's going on, buddy? Welcome back to a brand new movie review. My name is Zach. I am the Wolf of Geek Street. And if you guys are new here, well, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button because if you love movies, this is the channel for you guys. Make sure to also comment down below. Let me know your guys' thoughts on this film. Have you seen the trailer yet? Have you heard about it yet? Let's discuss it all down there. Of course, this film comes out this weekend, but it actually debuted back at a film festival back in 2018, which sometimes can cause me a little bit of worry. But I'm really happy to sit here and say that this film's really good. And I was actually quite surprised with that. Again, I am a guilty pleasure fan of found footage movies. And the biggest new trend of these found footage things is all everything taking place on a computer screen. We've seen it with Unfriended, which eh, those are a little bit, they're entertaining for the most part, but not the best. And then you go over to ne definitely the next thing, which is hands down, of course, searching, which I adore searching to death. So I didn't know where profile was gonna definitely fit inside of there. But thankfully enough, what the trailer promises you, there's a little bit more behind there. And something that I think is more of just an intense thriller that keeps you on edge the entire way through. And again, something that I didn't expect from this movie. This is a movie that, you know, it's all about an undercover British journalist who infiltrates the online propaganda channels of the so-called ISIS state only to be sucked in by her recruiter. She's, in a sense, forming this fake relationship with an ISIS recruiter to figure out how they are taking these young women across and getting them there and how they are preying on them. Now, this is a real thing. This is based on all of a true story. You can actually figure out and read the book. But, like, doing the research afterwards, this is a fucking scary film. And, yes, there are, again, like, I, I love the film. But there are some frustrating moments into the, that sometimes the character does and you slap yourself in your face and you're like, why are you doing that? And yes, I, I really did just slap myself in the face. But like we do that sometimes when watching movies. But I think that adds to the again, this is a film. It adds to the tension. It adds to the frustrating element because you can get very much intertwined and entertained inside the entire movie. And that's something that me and my girlfriend did while watching. We were sitting there like interacting with each other like, oh, my God. And there's points where we had to pause the film because we were so damn into it. It was kind of getting a little bit scary for her because this is a real thing happening and how they're preying on these people and trying, you know, just all the, the despicable shit they're doing. It's scary. Um, it, it point blank, it's scary. And the fact that this film really preys on that brings it to life in a new manner, especially because this reporter, this journalist, she's not a spy. She's going to make mistakes. And those mistakes can be costly and scary. And it really comes down and balances this thing of, is she really falling for this guy? Is she really falling for the scheme? Or is she not? And balancing those tones can be a little bit tough, but thankfully the director of this is able to do so in a fun manner that never gets away in what is actually trying to say. Now, yes, I do think the film probably could have gone a little bit deeper with actually researching and actually diving into every single one of these things, but for the tone of the film and what they established from the first act this is just more of an entertaining thriller that does say hey this is real but we're gonna go more of the fun route with it even though i'm sitting there and saying fun it's it's not a completely fun movie it is a very thrilling intense film that can frustrate you and keep you on edge the entire way through in fact i've been constantly thinking about this movie since i saw it a couple weeks back and i've just like absolutely been like damn this is one hell of a movie because you're sitting there trying to predict the next moment but you honestly can't it's edge of your seat and it's truly making you think on how this film is going to play out for an hour and 45 minute runtime it flies by and by the end you're kind of left wanting a little bit more to see where this story could take place or where it could go further and that's where it kind of leaves you up to debate to do a little bit more research on your own time and that's what i've really much loved about profile i think profile is one of my favorite films of this year so far it's one that kept me engaged the entire way through the performances are all great they're very interactive and very engaging and the fact is this is just a film that if you're a fan of that kind of like computer screen monologue it works and I think one of my favorite things about the movie is the fact of the way that they edit and make the movements of all around. I would love to see the behind the scenes on this film because a lot of these movies, the big problem I have is it's always so stylized and they, they all the typing is perfect, all the swaying around, all these little things that they do is not realistic. But when we're doing a computer, I mean, let's be honest, we type things wrong, we type things and send it to the wrong person when we're stressed, there's multiple things we're doing on the laptop. When you're watching this film, 
there's gonna be things that she does there's gonna be things that give away what she's doing certain things that she's doing that you're like you dumbass you did that wrong but again in the moment if we were doing that we'd probably mess up too and that's what's insane to see how this film plays out is in general seeing how she's typing stuff wrong seeing how she's bailing on certain people for this entire journalistic thing and how it's affecting her real world now how it's affecting her life now and where in general this ends up taking her it is very scary but very intense and i loved how they took that realistic approach for the overall of the entire film and really much kept this very intense thrilling tone throughout the entire film what makes profile such a great watch if you're looking for just a really good thriller to go see in the theaters and kind of get the, the shit scared out of you definitely go check this one out so with all that said i'm gonna give profile an a minus Thank you once again, guys, for clicking on this. You guys are seriously all the best. I'm honestly shocked at some of the other reviews I actually just went and looked at after filming all that. I'm surprised a lot more people like this. Maybe they're just not a fan of the computer screen or like the found footage type of era. But for me, it's my jam. And if it's your jam as well, you're going to really dig this one. So, guys, make sure to head on over to Samsung Films on how to see films early. And, of course, it's a big thing to you and a big thing to my Patreon supporters because without you, I wouldn't be able to do this. So, of course, until next time, stay classy.